Yo, welcome to Music is a Day Job. I'm your host, Sean. And um, Music is a Day Job is brought to you by the Concert App. The Concert App is the artist accelerator app that takes artists from opening a headliners on tour and gives the artist, the, gives the fan the best experience in independent live music. I'm having a long night. <laughs> so, how did I book my first tour? Now, if you go through the other like videos, you can kind of see when I talk about my own situation and everything like that, you can kind of put it all together. But um, someone asked me this. So this is the reality of what I did. Like by the time we got to our own kind of like tours, we had already we were being we we're doing shows like at a high rate. Like I was doing big venues around four times a year, like a, a thousand person seater in Denver at four times a year. And I had already, I was already, but I was doing like, basically like my dates were just random. Like I would book some of these shows myself, but then I had like club nights and it'll like, if you ever look at my journey, I have a video that's like based on my entire journey. And I talk about when we got to the point where we did club nights and we had like, um, we would go out and just book ourselves in cities around us. And we never made it into a tour at first. We would just like, just do it when we were like, <laughs> like just go and go. And like, so it wasn't like in a tour form, we would possibly do like, I guess you could say they'd have us open up for a national. Then we go back up there and headline ourselves. That's how we understood it. And we had been on tours that were um, with other businesses. Like, so for instance, there's a mountain company that does tours all through the mountains. They bring one national act and then they'd have us and one of our other homies on it. And then we go up there and we bounce around between like five cities and you do it multiple times. And each time there's different college kids coming to those um, coming to those shows and they come from all over the globe. And that was like our first, like, I guess you could kind of say like setup tour, but it wouldn't buy us. Uh, by the time I figured out like how to kind of go on tour, I, I, as I said, I had already kind of built my name in tons of different spaces. We had even, we had even been to other cities to where we've done a one-off shows in these other cities, places like Salt Lake, um, Phoenix, uh albuquerque places like that we we had done some shows in california already and everything like that and we understood we had done shows in wyoming we had done shows all these different places and we had done them in like one-off scenarios but as i said we hadn't put it all together when we so everyone just wants to jump to the space of being like how do i book my own tour how do i book my own tour not understanding that we had put in the work to have like fan bases in some of these areas we knew at least 20 to 30 to 40 people in some of these areas. So it was kind of like, now we have to put it together. I've already been out there once. I already kind of understand the landscape. So then it makes it easy for me to be like, okay, this is the place I'm going to go. And this is how I'm going to do it. I had already built relationships with some of these venues. So I understood like costs and everything like that. Um, when we started putting it together as in like almost like a tour format, it was once we once we figured out that we kind of go like we could put sponsors on it and um, we could be like, oh, the sponsors are going to pay for this much of the tour for what we're going to do for our travel and everything like that. And then we're going to book these dates. And then we understood the strong dates. Like, for instance, we understood in Denver if we came back and did a thousand person seater or whatever like that, we knew how much money we were going to make. You know what I'm saying? Like, we knew how much money we could make from that thousand person seater. Then it was just like, OK, well, what's your second spot? So the way we booked it was kind of like this. Like we knew Denver is the is our main spot. Our second spot is Colorado Springs. So we understood those two and we understood how we were going to put them on the on the flow of the like of the tour. Like it's it's kind of like sometimes you put Denver up front so you can be like, I have money. If I'm if I don't have enough money to start going on tour, then that's what's going to feed the process. And then sometimes you go like, oh, well, I already have the money from whether sponsors or whether I'm just going to put the money myself or whether even somebody else is going to put the money. Like we've had sponsors put up the money. We've had other artists put up the money because they wanted to be on the tour and we knew the actual pricing and everything like that. So it was just kind of like, OK, well, we understood what this was going to be. And 
we would at first we'd start with Denver being our first because that kind of sets you up. Then you have money. You know what I'm saying? So I understood where my strong place was. That's the first thing you need to do. Understand where your strong spot is. The second strong spot I'm going to put on the back end of this to make up for anything else that's going on. So we put Denver at the front, Colorado Springs at the end, or Denver at the front and Colorado Springs next and really stack up. I think the first one we did, we did Denver and then Colorado Springs. So it just became, it just becomes like, and plus you want to make it in a way that, uh, I always tell artists this because what's going to happen is like you get a lot of people who are in the usual idea of how to tour and what they're going to do, even if they come on here and write in the comments, they're going to say something like, oh, we packed up in a van and we went everywhere and stuff like that. I didn't believe in doing that. So as you'll see in when I talk or even when I talk about concerts and stuff like that, I'm heavy on spot dating. I don't want to get and get in a van and go somewhere for forever. I want to spot date on the days I want to. I want to work on weekends. <laughs> like this is now that some people can call this lazy touring, but a it made me money and I knew how to do it consistently. So if I'm spot dating, the only time I was willing to change the course was like I, I would go like okay Denver Springs, Pueblo, but I'm doing I at this point I'm living in I think I'm living in Denver. So then it's kind of like Denver Springs back home springs in denver an hour pueblo and denver two hours so no expenses other than gas i just did three shows denver fort collins an hour denver Greeley, an hour denver boulder an hour now i'm at six shows now and I've probably done this over the amount of three weeks. So around three weeks because I would only book myself on Fridays and Saturdays. So I have the highest turnover rate chance for a high turnover rate because people work during the week. Plus a lot of tours come during the week because artists are like, especially in these, I guess you can kind of say outside towns. They want their Fridays and Saturdays to be in the capital like they wanted to be in the main city. So then that's where they feel they're going to make the most money. So then when they hit these other cities, it's more than likely during the week. So then you have a better chance with Fridays and Saturdays. So that helps you out. Now, when I'm at six places and I'm probably three weeks in. Now, let's look at Grand Junction. And if we're around winter, then I'm going to go straight into that winter tour. So then I would add that as my dates because then I would just go straight into the winter tour now. So if I'm coming out of that or if I'm coming out of that, then I started at the winter tour and then we go into spring with our tour. So then that would be four other, I guess, eight other dates, which would be December and January. So then you're either coming out and starting tour February or you're going in from, uh, I guess you can say September and then going in. So let's say. Either way, I did six dates myself without that situation. And then I'm going to do Grand Junction. Grand Junction is a four hour trip. Now, oddly, I just did Grand Junction the other night with a national act. And um, even though I don't really perform like that, but I'm, I'm helping build my app a little bit. So I'm trying to get back out there so then I can get some other artists, some uh, some shine. And we actually brought them on stage with us in a big show out in the amphitheater. They, they loved it, and then they're going to be um, one of the headliners with us at the big venue, at the big um, theater in that city in Grand Junction. So when I get to Grand Junction, that's the first place that I'm now putting, um, I'm, I'm going to spend money on a hotel. So now I've already done six nights, <laughs> and I've only spent gas. Now at night seven, I'm, I'm going to be in Grand Junction, and... That's our first that's our first stop that's that's with the hotel. Now, if I'm going to go ahead and do that, then I might as well go and head straight out to Salt Lake City. So we can hit that and then go out to Salt Lake City and then do Salt Lake City. One time we did Salt Lake City in Provo. I never did I never really got to do um Salt Lake City in Ogden. I did Salt Lake City in Provo and uh that was fun. Now from this point forward, when you come back, you can either come back from that or you can keep it going. 
you can either like later on you may you may extend that to St. George and then possibly extend that to Vegas. That's how you can extend that further. But with me, okay, I might come back. So then I did two nights or three nights. The expenses were only on three of those nights. I'm now at seven, eight, nine, ten, either ten or eleven shows, and then come back that way. If I go back down through the south side, then what I'm doing is, if I already did Pueblo everything like that, then I'm just gonna go straight out to to Albuquerque. Albuquerque from Albuquerque and then that would be my that might be my first day mattering because I think Albuquerque is only three or four hours I think it's like four hours so it's kind of like very similar so it's like okay well that would be my first day then I'm going to Arizona once I hit Arizona then I may go to all the way out to San Diego and then come back So then that makes my nights Albuquerque, Phoenix, and San Diego. When you get more detailed, you possibly be able to do Albuquerque and Santa Fe and separate them. And then possibly um, Phoenix Flagstaff and Phoenix Flagstaff and Tucson. And then San Diego. That's how you run the tour. And then like, so then I'm running... I'm running like around 15 nights and I probably only had expenses of, I guess you could say high expenses of like when you're including um, tons of food and, and stay on maybe three to six nights or probably five nights out of the 15. That's how I seen touring and that's what I try to help with people in the concert app is that's how I seen the quick tours that were kind of like, yo, let me stay in these areas because then I'm lowering the expenses. And that's how I booked my first tours. I'm saying like, yo, I'm trying to lower the expenses and I'm trying to make money so I can live off this. And then I understood how many fans I had in these areas. So then I'm at the space of I all as I said, I'm at the space where I already have. 50 fans here or 40 fans here 30 fans here you see what i'm saying so then i understood what the numbers were so when i'm looking at venues i was in the space of going like oh well we need a 100 capacity venue and i need a 100 capacity venue because i'm only gonna bring 50 people so i'm gonna fill a path and then whoever else is on it will get the other ones you know what i'm saying but That's what I started understanding how I wanted to book my tour because I knew these numbers and I knew these areas. So you can't really just jump into this and be like, yo, I'm just going to go on tour. As I say, build in your spot and then start expanding next door, 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 next door. That's the way I did it. Once again, this is Music is Day Job. I'm your host, Sean. This is brought to you by the Concert App. The Concert App is now in tons of different cities, different states. So if we're in your city or state, definitely jump on shows and start building. Start doing this, you know. Um, if we're not in your city yet, then or your state, then get tons of people on it so I can see the demand so we can get out there next. Um, if you know of any venues that we may not know of, definitely let us know so we can start tapping into those venues and we can start building shows in those places. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe, and get the app now, the concert app with the Q, Q-O-N-C-E-R-T. Once again, this is Sean, and this is Music is a Day Job.